When your pet needs urgent care, you need animal emergency care. Staffed with caring veterinary professionals with a state-of-the-art facility. Open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for emergencies only. Animal Emergency Care in Bellingham and online at animalemergencycare.net. Patrice is hogging the puppy. Aww. Well, Mm -hmm. That is a beautiful puppy right there. Well, nobody else gets to hold it. Sorry. I'm not even, actually, I'm not even apologizing for holding this puppy and snuggling it and loving it and providing it warmth. I don't blame you. If I had gotten it first, I probably wouldn't have let go either. Mm -hmm. So cute. In fact, this is an adoption in progress live (laughs) on the radio. I tried. I already texted Ryan and I was like, can we just foster her for just a little bit? And he's like, no. I'm like, please, come on, just for a little while. It's a tiny little puppy, eight weeks old. Needs a little home loving, needs some other dogs and some kids to kind of, you know, socialize her a little bit. Laura Clark from the Watkins Humane Society. Is it true that you don't have a place for her? Patrice, really, we don't. Our our kennels are full at the Whatcom Humane Society, and I'm not even making a joke about that because it's no joke that right now shelters nationally are all over capacity. The Whatcom Humane Society is no exception. As of this morning, we had one small dog kennel available. Oh. It will be filled by the time I get back from this show today. We have animals in our admin offices. We have animals in foster. And that little girl, whose name is Peppercorn, oh. needs a home. Yeah. Um, she is one of a litter of puppies. And every litter, every puppy in the litter looks completely different. So mm. who knows what was going on there. But <laughs> there's shaggy dogs. There's short-haired dogs. There's brown dogs. There's white dogs. There's black and white dogs. They were found under a trailer in eastern Washington. And unfortunately, the shelters over in eastern Washington also are experiencing massive pet overpopulation. But they, unlike the Whatcom Humane Society, turn animals away. And so the people that found this litter had some tie to Whatcom County. So they literally drove them over the mountain passes to the Whatcom Humane Society where we accepted them in. Um, And she is so funny. So Patrice, she's really calm there. Mm -hmm. But with her kennel mates, Mm -hmm. she's known as the enforcer. (laughs) Well, Chihuahuas are good at that. It's always the Chihuahuas who are in charge. Uh She's like, we have rules here at the Whatcom Humane Society and you will follow them. And then she tattles on the other dogs if they're not following following the rules. Wow. But she is a little shy, under socialized, would really benefit from a home with another dog. Uh, puppies are a lot of work, but with some time, patience, and a sense of humor, you are going to have a fantastic small breed dog. Laura, as an expert here, do you think that uh, Peppercorn could be uh, maybe in a family of four children, maybe a, a husband and wife, maybe the husband's in wildlife and maybe deals like with in animals? Ferndale. In Ferndale, maybe. Um, uh, I think a couple other dogs would be really beneficial sure, as well. Sure, I'm, you yeah. know, if we had to pick an ideal home, Alan, I think that would be the home. Sold. Sold. Maybe a family whose name kind of says heart and love yeah. and Valentine. that kind of thing. Va- yeah. Right? right? If you right. could find a family named Valentine. I mean, just hypothetically, it'd be Peppercorn Valentine or Aww. Pepper for short, so of course. So cute. And here's the thing, Patrice. Is, is Ryan really making the decision about this? You yeah. can't make this decision? Right. Uh, this is definitely a joint decision, which I think it should be for every family, because I think that that is maybe part of the problem with with people who adopt pets is that if it's not a joint decision, if it's not a whole family deciding to bring in the animal and do the work as a family unit, then that work is put on one person who then gets resentful. And then that's when they end up back at the Humane Society because they're not being well cared for. Can you tell who's the responsible well, one? Patrice mm-hmm. is being way too responsible. And while we do appreciate that, and yes, that is 110% true, I think in this case, the cafe family oh, has made a collective yeah. decision yes, for right. your family. Fair. Fair. And what happens in my household is an animal comes home and I say to my husband, and this has worked for many, yeah. many years, okay. this lives here now. <laughs> and then there is no more discussion. Yeah, it's it just, just makes sense. Right. I and did it, do that with the children so it, it right. has worked so far these live here now right. he, he owes you a puppy he owes you a puppy i technically got a puppy for my 40th birthday a couple years ago but what's one more that's right. so two years ago I exactly uh, what exactly. has he done for you lately <laughs> right well if the valentine home is not the home for this puppy we like i said we have so many animals available for adoption so visit our facility we're open tuesday through saturday noon to five the kennels are open or go to whatcomhumane.org and again if If you are ready to invest and make a lifetime commitment for an animal, please visit your local shelter, your local rescue group, and adopt, don't shop. Laura Clark, thank you for bringing us peppercorn. Maybe at some point someone else will get to pet her. (laughs) Maybe. Maybe. Have a great week. Maybe not.